Let's look at the pancreas. There are several ways in which the pancreas can be imaged. Now, let's look at a method of depicting the pancreas that can be easily inspected in general and can be viewed in general. Let's look at the central transverse skin first. Central transverse skin here is the median sejical plane. There is a center line. Here, the probe is scanned in the 8 o'clock position on the center line, and the position is slightly tilted to the left of the patient. And to see liver, I gave it an angle to the head. In order to see the pancreas, the pancreas can be drawn out by examining it at a right angle, or slightly, upward, and giving an angle to the foot, and downward. This is what the scan looks like. The most important anatomical indicator for locating the pancreas is the splenic vein. The shaded area here, you see now, is the splenic vein. When the splenic vein passes transversely, the soft soft tissue directly above it corresponds to the pancreas. At the back of the pancreas, there is the superior mesenteric artery and the slightly thickened part on the connecting line of the pancreas is the superior mesenteric artery, and it will be the superior mesenteric vein. This is IVC, this is aorta. It appears like this, and the area around here is for liver. At the back is a spine. Now the pancreas is divided into thirds, and divided into head, body, and tail. The head raises an arbitrary line around the superior mesenteric vein. This will be the head. The body has spine on the back here. Putting a random line on the left margin of the spine. Here is the body. The rest are tails. You should think like this. However, the important thing is that these landmarks are also important. But there are conditions for the pancreas to come out the best. Homogeneous liver tissue is located anteriorly, and this pattern of pancreas coming out is a good way to see the pancreas. Depending on the person, it can be divided into several patterns. Liver comes out, then there is the stomach entrum. The pancreas is located behind the stomach entrum. There are also cases like this. Another one. Stomach entrum comes out. Then there is the style with the pancreas coming out. At this time, if there is gas or food artifact in the stomach, it is difficult to see the pancreas well. You just have to go through this. Also, I have a case where the pancreas is located just below the abdominal wall. A lot of people usually have this. There are many people with thin abdominal walls. In this case, Using a probe with a high frequency is very helpful in examining the pancreas. Let's do a central transverse scan once. Probe direction at 8 o'clock. The probe is placed almost at right angles to the patient. The pancreas is visible when the probe is lowered slightly toward the foot to examine. Stick your belly out a little. At this time, the most important landmark landmark for capturing the pancreas is the splenic vein. The splenic vein must be found. Where is the splenic venous vein? As it is now, the cystic tubulus structure will continue to be connected. This is the splenic vein. The slightly thicker part here is the superior mesenteric vein, the SMV. The circle here is the superior mesenteric artery. So. Where's the pancreas? Here's the front soft tissue. This is the equivalent of the head to the pancreas. The sharp part corresponds to the unsinate process. So this is how the pancreas is connected up to this point. This is how they are connected. So, the most important landmarks in finding the pancreas are the splenic vein, superior hepatic vein, becomes the superior hepatic artery. Behind this is the abdominal aorta and here, is the inferior vena cava. Let's see it again. If you stick out your stomach a little, you can see the pancreas. At this time, 
start the direction of the probe from the 8 o'clock position, to see the tail side of the pancreas. If you turn it gradually to the 6 o'clock position, the tail of the pancreas can be observed more clearly. So now this part is the tail part of the pancreas. The splenic vein is well observed. This is how you need to scan. The most important thing. Searching meticulously any abnormalities, such as a mass, duct dilatation, indentation in the region of pancreas.